Oh, my back looks a little slanted. But I do have a- Oh, hello guys. I'm Thomas E. Cooper. If anyone who don't know what the 50 US states came from, here are all the state etymologies. Alabama Before Europeans landed on American shores, the upper stretches of the Alabama River in present day Alabama used to be the homelands of a Native American tribe called, drumroll, please. The Alabama, Alabama are in their own tribal language. The river and the state both take their names from the tribe, that's clear enough, but the meaning of the name was another matter, despite a wealth of recorded encounters with the tribe. Hernando de Soto was the first to make contact with them, followed by other Spanish, French and British explorers and settlers, who referred to the tribe, variously, as the Alabama, Alabaman, Alabama, Alabam, Alabaman, Alabamu, Alabam, Alabamo, and Alabamu. Alabama came from Alba, plants or weeds, and Amo, to cut or to gather, that together make Albuamo, or plant gatherers. We also know that Alabama referred to a member of their tribe as an Albuamo, cleared land and practiced agriculture largely without tools and by hand and had contact with the neighboring Choctaws. Today, the prevailing theory is that the phrase was used by the Choctaws to describe their neighbors and Alabama eventually adopted it as their own. This state was named on April 19, 1742, Alaska, like Alabama, and, as we'll see, plenty of other state names. The name Alaska comes from the language of the area's indigenous people, the Aleuts, a name given to them by Russian fur traders in the mid-18th century. They used to, and sometimes still do, call themselves the Anangan, natives of the Aleutian Islands, referred to the Alaskan Peninsula and the mainland as Alaksksak, Arlokshok, literally, the object toward which the action of the sea is directed. This state was named on December 2, 1897. Arizona. There are two sides in the argument over the origin of Arizona's name. One side says that the name comes from the Baskaritsonak, good oak, and was applied to the territory because the oak trees reminded the Basque settlers in the area of their homeland. The other side says that the name comes from the Spanish Arizonac, which was derived from the Odom, the language of the native Pima people, word Ali. Onad G, having a little spring, which might refer to actual springs or a site near rich veins of silver discovered in 1736. For what it's worth, official Arizona state historian Marshall Trimble had supported the latter explanation but for now, favors the former. This state was named on February 1, 1883. Arkansas. The first Europeans to arrive in the area of present-day Arkansas were French explorers accompanied by Illinois Indian guides. Illinois referred to the Yagukpa people native to the region as the Akansa, wind people or people of the south wind, which the French adopted and pronounced with an R. They added an S to the end for pluralization, and for some reason, it stuck when the word was adopted as the state's name. This state was named on July 20, 1796. California. California existed in European literature way before Europeans settled the western U.S. It wasn't a state filled with vineyards and movie stars, but an island in the West Indies filled with gold and women. The fictional paradise, first mentioned in the early 1500s by Spanish author García Ordóñez de Montalvo in his novel Las Sergas de Esplendien, is ruled by Queen Calafia and inhabited by black women, without a single man among them, living in, the manor of Amazons. The island is said to be one of the wildest in the world on account of the bold and craggy rocks. Everywhere abounds with gold and precious stones and is home to griffins and other mythical beasts. While there is some consensus that the area was named for the fictional island, scholars have also suggested that the name comes from the Catalan words cala, hot, and form, oven, or from a Native America phrase, californo, high hill. This state was named on May 22, 1850. Colorado Colorado is a Spanish adjective that means red. The early Spanish explorers in the Rocky Mountain region named a river they found the Rio Colorado for the reddish silt that the water carried down from the mountains. When Colorado became a territory in 1861, 
The Spanish word was used as a name because it was commonly thought that the Rio Colorado originated in the territory. This was not the case. However, prior to 1921, the Colorado River began where the Green River of Utah and the Grand River of Colorado converged outside of Mobe, Utah, and the United States Geological Survey identified Green River of Wyoming as Colorado's actual headwaters. The Rio Colorado did not actually flow through Colorado until 1921 when House Joint Resolution 460 of the 66th United States Congress changed the name of the Grand River. This state was named in 1743 Connecticut. This state is named after the Connecticut River, which was named Quinnetuck by the Mohegans who lived in the eastern Upper Thames Valley. In their Algonquian language, the word means long river place or beside the long tidal river. This state was named on April 15, 1650. Delaware. Delaware is named for the Delaware River and Delaware Bay. These, in turn, were named for Sir Thomas West, 3rd Baron de la War, the first colonial governor of Virginia, who traveled the river in 1610. The title is likely ultimately derived from the old French de la War, of the war or a warrior. This state was named on January 1, 1630. Florida in 1513. Spanish conquistador Juan Ponce de Leon landed near what is now the city of St. Augustine. In honor of the holiday and the area's plant life, he named the land Florida for the Spanish phrase for the Easter season, Pascua Florida, Feast of Flowers. The name is the oldest surviving European place name in the U.S. This state was named on April 2, 1513, Georgia, in the early 18th century. The British Parliament assigned a committee to investigate the conditions of the country's debtor prisons and didn't like what they found. A group of philanthropists concerned with the plight of debtors proposed the creation of a colony in North America where the worthy poor could get back on their feet and be productive citizens again. Their plan ultimately didn't pan out as the colony wasn't settled by debtors, but the trustees of the colony still wanted to thank King George II for granting their charter, so they named the place after him. This state was named on October 3, 1674. Hawaii. The name may come from the Proto-Polynesian Suki or homeland. Some early explorers' accounts have the natives calling the place Hohi, a compound of Hua, homeland, and Tu, small, active, or from Hawaii low. The Polynesian who tradition says discovered the islands. This state was named on December 29, 1879. Idaho. The origin of Idaho's name, like a few other names we've already talked about, is a mystery. When it was proposed as the name of a new U.S. territory, it was explained as a derivation of the Shazone Indian term Idaho, meaning gem of the mountains or the sun comes from the mountains. It's possible that the word, and its Indian origin, were made up by the man who proposed the name, George M. Willing. An eccentric industrialist and mining lobbyist, not all historians and linguists agree on this, though, and the most common alternate explanation is that the name comes from the Apache word Ida, enemy, which the Kiowas Indians applied to the Comanches they came in contact with when they migrated to southern Colorado. This state was named on June 6, 1864. Illinois Illinois is the modern spelling of the early French explorer's name for the people they found living in the area, which they spelled in endless variations in their records. This state was named on March 24, 1793. Indiana. The state's name means Indian land or land of the Indians, named so for the Indian tribes that lived there when white settlers arrived. While its meaning might be simple enough, the way it got the name is a little more interesting. At the end of the French and Indian War, the French were forced out of the Ohio Valley. This state was named on December 2, 1794. Iowa. Iowa's name comes from the Native American tribe that once lived there, the Iowa. This state was named on August 31, 1818. Kansas. Kansas was named after the Kansas River, which was named after the Kansas tribe who lived along its banks. Kansas, a Siwan word, is thought to be pretty old. How old? Its full and original meaning was lost to the tribe before they even met their first white settler. Today, we only know that the word has some reference to the wind possibly people of the wind or people of the south wind. 
This state was named on May 12, 1832, Kentucky. Kentucky may come from various Indians' words, all from the Iroquoian language group, meaning meadow, prairie, at the prairie, at the field, land of tomorrow, river bottom, and the river of blood. This state was named on April 28, 1728. Louisiana. Louisiana comes from the French La Louisan, or Land of Louis. It was named for Louis XIV, the King of France from 1643 to 1715. This state was named on July 18, 1787. Maine. Maine is another case where no one is quite sure how the name came about. Ferdinando Gorges and John Mason, who received a charter for land in Maine, were both English Royal Navy veterans, and the name may have originated with the sailors differentiating the mainland from the many islands off the state's coast. Maine's state legislature, meanwhile, passed a resolution in 2001 that established Franco-American Day and claimed that the state was named after the French province of Maine. This state was named on October 13, 1729. Maryland. The English colony of Maryland was named for Queen Henrietta Maria, the wife of King Charles I, who granted Maryland's charter. Mariana was also proposed as a name, but Maryland's founder, Sir Lord Baltimore, believed in the divine right of kings and turned the name down because it reminded him of the Spanish Jesuit and historian Juan de Mariana. This state was named on January 18, 1691. Massachusetts. This name is named after the Commonwealth of Massachusetts and the Massachusetts Bay Colony that preceded it were named after the area's indigenous people, the Massachusetts. The tribe's name translates to near the Great Hill, referring to the Blue Hills southwest of Boston. This state was named on June 4, 1665. Michigan. The state takes its name from Lake Michigan. Michigan is a French derivative of the Ojibwa word Mishikama, which translates to Big Lake, Large Lake or Large Water. This state was named on October 24, 1811. Minnesota. Minnesota is derived from the Dakota tribe's name for the Minnesota River. Minnesota, a water plus soda cloudy, muddy, sometimes translated to the more poetic sky-tinted water. The English language doesn't really dig words beginning with MN. You'll find only one, mnemonic. So early settlers in the region added some I's and produced too many sounds that they wrote as mine. This state was named on April 21, 1821. Mississippi. The state is named for the Mississippi River. You may have heard that Mississippi means the father of waters and you may have heard that from no less a source than novelist James Fenimore Cooper or President Abraham Lincoln, who wrote in a letter after the Civil War after Union victories during the Civil War, the father of waters again goes unvexed to the sea. This state was named on March 9, 1800, Missouri. The state and the Missouri River are both named after the Missouri people, a southern Siwan tribe that lived along the river. Missouri comes from an Illinois language reference to the tribe, Uima saw a writer, which has been translated as those who have dug out canoes, wooden canoe people or he of the big canoe. This state was named on September 7, 1805. Montana. Montana is a variation of the Spanish Montana, or mountain, a name applied because of its numerous mountain ranges, there are 3,510 mountain peaks total. This state was named on November 1, 1860. Nebraska. Nebraska comes from the archaic Otto Indian words Nibrasc, in contemporary Otto, it would be Nibrasc, meaning flat water. The words refer to the Platte River, which flows across the Cornhusker state. This state was named on June 22, 1867. Nevada. The state's name is the Spanish word for snowfall and refers to the Sierra Nevada, snow-covered mountains, mountain range. The non-Nevadan pronunciation of the name Nevada differs from the local pronunciation Nuvid and is said to annoy Nevadans endlessly. This state was named on February 9, 1845. New Hampshire John Mason named the area he received in a land grant after the English county of Hampshire, where he had lived for several years as a child. Mason invested heavily in the clearing of land and building of houses in New Hampshire, but died in England, before ever venturing to the New World to see his property. 
This state was named on August 27, 1692, New Jersey. New Jersey was named for Jersey, the largest of the British Channel Islands, by its founders Sir John Barclay and Sir George Carteret. Carteret was born on Jersey and served as its lieutenant governor for several years. This state was named on April 2, 1669, New Mexico. New Mexico and the country it used to be part of, Mexico, both take their name from New Atl Mexico. The meaning of the word is unclear, but there are several hypotheses. It might reference Mextli or M. Xitli, an alternate name for Huitzilopochtli, the god of war and patron of the Aztecs, and mean place where M. Xitli lives. It's also been suggested that the word is a combination of M. Xitli, moon, Xitli, center, and the suffix co, place and means place at the center of the moon, in reference to Lake Texcoco. This state was named on November 1, 1859, New York. Both the state and New York City were named for James Stewart, Duke of York and future King James II of England. The Old York, a city in England, has been around since before the Romans made their way to the British Isles and the word York comes from the Romans' Latin name for the city, written variously as Eberacum, Eberacum, and Eberasi. Tracing the name further back is difficult, as the language of the area's pre-Roman indigenous people was never recorded. They are thought to have spoken a Celtic language, though, and Eberachum may have been derived from the Britonic Eberachan, which means place of the yew trees. This state was named on October 15, 1680, North Carolina. King Charles II of England, who granted a charter to start a colony in modern-day North Carolina, named the land in honor of his father, Charles I. Carolina comes from Carolus, the Latin form of Charles. This state was named on June 30, 1686, North Dakota. This name comes from the Dakota, a tribe of Siwan people who lived in the region. No detailed etymology of Dakota is widely accepted, but the most common explanation is that it means friend our ally in the language of the Sioux. This state was named on November 2, 1867, Ohio. A common translation. Beautiful River, originates in a French traveler's 1750 account of visiting the region. He referred to the Ohio River as Unbel Revere and gave its local Indian name as Ohio. People took his description of the river as a translation of the Indian name, though there is no evidence that that was his intention or that that is even a correct translation. In fact, no definitive meaning for the word is available, though Ohio is more likely a Y and its word meaning large, great or the great one, than beautiful river. It could also be derived from the Seneca word meaning large creek. This state was named on April 19, 1785. Oklahoma. Oklahoma is a combination of the Choctaw words Zutla, person, and humor, red. The word was used by the Choctaw to describe Native Americans, red persons. Alan Wright, chief of the Choctaw Nation from 1866 to 1870, suggested the name in 1866 during treaty negotiations with the federal government over the use of the Indian Territory. When the Indian Territory was whittled down to what is now Oklahoma, the new territory took its name from the Choctaw word. This state was named on September 5, 1842, Oregon. The origin of Oregon may be the most hotly debated of the state names. This state was named on July 20, 1860. Here are a few of the competing explanations. 1. Oregon is derived from the French Oregon, hurricane, and the state named so because French explorers called the Columbia River La Fluvo Oregon's Hurricane River, due to the strong winds in the Columbia Gorge. 2. Oregon is derived from Oalion, a Chinook name for the Ulacan, Thalehthes pacificus, a smelt found along the Pacific coast and prized as a source of food for Native Americans in the area. 3. Oregon is derived from the Spanish or Aegean, Big Ears, which early Spanish explorers reportedly used to refer to local natives. 4. Oregon is derived from Oregon, 
a word used by Major Robert Rogers in a 1765 petition asking the British government to finance and supply an overland search for the Northwest Passage. As to where Rogers got the word, it could have come from an error on a French-made map from the early 1700s, where the Ouizik and Sink, Wisconsin River, is misspelled Wirikon Sint, and broken so Wirikon sits on a line by itself or it might have been derived from the Algonquian War Egan or Olion, which both mean good and beautiful, and were both used in reference to the Ohio River at the time. And 5. Oregon is derived from the Shazone words Ogwa, river, and pon, west, and picked up from the Sioux, who referred to the Columbia as the River of the West, by American explorer Jonathan Carver. This state is named on July 20, 1860. Uh, Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania is named after William Penn. The land was granted to Penn's son, William Penn, to pay off or debt owed by the crown to the senior Pennsylvania. The name is made up of Penn plus silver, woods, plus near, a noun suffix, to get Penn's woodland. The younger Penn was embarrassed by the name and feared that people would think he had named the colony after himself, but King Charles would not rename the land. This state was named on March 8, 1650. Rhode Island Rhode Island is first used in a letter by Italian explorer Giovanni de Verrazzano, in which he compares an island near the mouth of Narragansett Bay, a bay on the north side of Rhode Island Sound, to the island of Rhodes in the Mediterranean. The explanation preferred by the state government is that Dutch explorer Adrian Bloch named the area Rutiland, Red Island, in reference to the red clay that lined the shore and the name was later anglicized under British rule. This state was named on February 3, 1680. South Carolina South Carolina comes from Carolus, the Latin form of Charles. This state was named on November 12, 1687. South Dakota South Dakota came from the Dakota, a tribe of Siwan people who lived in the region. No detailed etymology of Dakota is widely accepted, but the most common explanation is that it means friend our ally in the language of the Sioux. This state was named on November 2, 1867. Tennessee While traveling inland from South Carolina in 1567, Spanish explorer Juan Pardo passed through a Native American village in modern-day Tennessee named Danasqui. Almost two centuries later, British traders came upon a Cherokee village called Tanazi, in present-day Monroe County, Tennessee. No one knows whether Tanazi and Tanasqui were actually the same villages. Though it is known that Tanazi was located on the Little Tennessee River and recent research suggests that Tanasqui was close to the confluence of the Pigeon River and the French Broad River, near modern-day Newport. Tennessee could have come from either one of these village names, but the meanings of both words have since been lost. This state was named on May 24, 1747. Texas Texas comes from Tashaw, sometimes spelled Tejas, Tashas, Texias, Thickas. Tekken, Tasers, or Tekas, a word widely used by the natives of the East and Texas region before the arrival of the Spanish. The tribes had various spellings and interpretations of the word, but the usual meaning was friends or allies. Some tribes, like the Husinais and the Caddo, used it as a greeting, hello, friend. This is the usage that Spanish explorers picked up and used to greet friendly tribes throughout Texas and Oklahoma. The explorers also applied the word as a name for the Caddo people and the area around their East Texas settlement. This state was named on June 30, 1827. Utah Utah is derived from the name of the native tribe known as the Nazi U or Utes, which itself may come from the Apache Uda, Utah or Yutahich, meaning they who are higher up, whom the Spanish first encountered in modern-day Utah in the late 1500s, in the tribe's language. Ute means land of the sun. The tribe referred to themselves as the Nusi Uornuchu, which simply means the people. This state was named on December 20, 1877. Vermont. Vermont is derived from the French words vert, green, and mont, mountain. Samuel Peters claimed that he christened the land with that name in 1763 while standing on top of a mountain, saying, the new name is Vert Montana in token that her mountains and hills shall be evergreen and shall never die. Most historians would disagree, as would Thomas Young, 
the Pennsylvania statesman who suggested that his state's constitution be used as the basis for Vermont and is generally credited with suggesting the name to maintain the memory of the Green Mountain Boys, the militia organization formed to resist New York's attempted takeover of the area. This state was named on September 27, 1721. Virginia, named for Queen Elizabeth I of England, known as the Virgin Queen, who granted Walter Raleigh the charter to form a colony north of Spanish Florida. This state was named on March 21, 1652. Washington, Washington is named after the first President of the United States from April 30, 1789, to March 4, 1797. George Washington in the eastern U.S. The state is referred to as Washington State or the State of Washington to distinguish it from the District of Columbia, which they usually just call Washington, D.C. Or, if they're very local, the District Washingtonians and other Pacific Northwesterners simply call the state Washington and refer to the national capital as Washington, D.C. or just D.C. This state was named on February 22, 1872. West Virginia. West Virginia, formed from 39 Virginia counties whose residents voted to form a new state rather than join the Confederacy, was named after the same queen as the state it split from, though the new state was original to be called Kanawha. This state was named on September 1, 1831. Wisconsin. Wisconsin is derived from Meskazing, the name applied to the Wisconsin River by the Algonquian speaking tribes in the region. The French explorer Jacques Marquette recorded the name in 1673, and the word was eventually corrupted into Uishkonsin, anglicized to its modern form during the early 19th century, and its current spelling made official by the territorial legislature in 1845. Modern linguists had been unable to find any word in an Algonquian language similar to the one Marquette recorded, and now believe that the tribes borrowed the name from the Miami Mesconsing, or it lies red, a reference to the reddish sandstone of the Wisconsin Dells. This state was named on February 5, 1822. Wyoming. Wyoming is derived from the Delaware Indian word, Meshimiing, meaning at, on the big plains, which the tribe used to refer their home region in Pennsylvania, which was eventually named the Wyoming Valley. Other names considered for the new territory were Cheyenne, Shazani, Arapaho, Sioux, Platt, Bighorn, Yellowstone, and Sweetwater. But Wyoming was chosen because it was already in common use by the territory's settlers. This state was named on August 14, 1877. Of the 50 states, 11 are named after an individual person, and of those 11, 7 are named in honor of European monarchs. Over the years, Several attempts have been made to name a state after one of the founding fathers or other great statesmen of U.S. history. A few capitals have their known origin, such as the Missouri's capital, Jefferson City, is named after the third president of the U.S. from March 4, 1801 to March 4, 1809, Thomas Jefferson. Nebraska's capital, Lincoln, is named after the 16th president of the U.S. from March 4, 1861 to April 15, 1865. Abraham Lincoln. North Carolina's capital, Raleigh, is named after the English gentleman, writer, poet, soldier, politician, courtier, spy, and explorer from January 22, 1552 to October 29, 1618, Walter Raleigh. Ohio's capital, Columbus, is named after an Italian explorer, navigator, and colonist who discovers America on October 12, 1492. Christopher Columbus and Mississippi's capital is named after the seventh president of the U.S. from March 4, 1829 to March 4, 1837, Andrew Jackson. What? But how about me? Well, ah, uh, I'm having trouble about what your name is. I got selective hearing. But does that mean I like you? A, not really, since I got selective hearing. Oh. Okay, dude. Wow. Dude is such a great way to say that, but that still means I didn't like you much since I got selective hearing. Uck. Whatever you say dude. Anyways, hope you'll understand the etymologies of the following states in that order. Alabama. Alaska. Arizona. Arkansas. California. Colorado. Connecticut. Delaware. Florida. Georgia. Hawaii. Idaho. 
Illinois, Indiana, Iowa, Kansas, Kentucky, Louisiana, Maine, Maryland, Massachusetts, Michigan, Minnesota, Mississippi, Missouri, Montana, Nebraska, Nevada, New Hampshire, New Jersey, New Mexico, New York, North Carolina, North Dakota, Ohio, Oklahoma, Oregon, Pennsylvania, Rhode Island, South Carolina, South Dakota, Tennessee, Texas, Utah, Vermont, Virginia, Washington, West Virginia, Wisconsin, Wyoming. This is Thomas E. Cooper, signing off.